Good afternoon. Welcome to a beautiful day in Ohio. This is Wendy Hill Kennel. Uh, we are located in central Ohio and we specialize in schnauzers and schnoodles. And today we have a litter of schnoodles down here. This is our last video for the week. So this is Ripley's kid, Riley, Ripley's kid. We got too many Riley, Ripley's, somebody else with an R name. So this is Ripley's kids. These guys are six weeks and one day. Uh, and they are ornery, and they're full of it. I know it. It's just a big babies. Uh, there are still puppies available in this litter, but because we've been doing this stuff all day long, I forgot to look. So if you go to our website, if you're on YouTube, you can find out who we have left and who we don't. And I can tell you that this one has been sold since the very beginning. So don't don't call me about the apricot. It's gone. Um, Everybody in this litter is a phantom. So a phantom, I'll show you really two different phantoms and I'll show you the ones that aren't, their color hasn't come completely out yet. These are both phantoms. A phantom means their body is one solid color. Their legs can be silver and you can see there's a difference in color in these two. This one is like a beige and there's an alligator biting my fingers, no bite. Um, this one is a silver trim, this one is a beige trim. And so I tried to explain this earlier to a family about the phantom colors. So there's two more phantoms in this litter. Their colors have not come completely out yet. Both of these are going to be phantoms. And the reason I know that is this one is already turning on her legs. This is the female. There's only two females in this litter. It's this one and the apricot. And both females are sold. So there's four males still available. So this one is already starting to turn. In her ears, there is already brown in her ears. She's going to have brown on her eyebrows, which hasn't come out yet. And she's got the brown already coming up these back legs, if I can get her up above the puppies. They're already getting the silver up her back legs. And the telltale sign for us is there's brown under her tail. And it's not poop, it's hair color. So when they're marked like that, they're gonna end up looking like these guys, but it just takes their color longer to come out. So the little guy, this is the littlest one in the litter, he's already getting a little bit of his brown eyebrows in. Stop biting. And he's got definite brown on his legs, and he's got brown under his tail. Nope, don't bite. And I know you are a busy little person. So that's the story on how to tell what a phantom is. I know you just said, we were gonna put these guys out in the yard and Ripley decided she did not wanna be with them. She has had it with them. So we are in the process of weaning her and she was like not about to go back in the kennel out in the yard with all of her litter and her not wanting them to nurse. I know, I see you. So good job, three pounds, 13. He jumped off too quick. Ouch. Go get the ball, people. All right, we're going to start through here. They got their six-week-old shot yesterday. You're so bad. You're both bad. Um, coats are just starting to get really nice and lush. No. I'm going to bop you. No. So, that one plays soccer. Uh, this is the female. I know people. I see you. You're just way too much help. Okay, this one is the female that is sold. She is 8962. She's the apricot. And she's got a neon pink collar on, which she'll have until she goes home. And then if you decide you'd rather have a different color collar, we'll switch collars for you. All right, let me see if I can do this. This is going to be a... If it's really bad, we're going to put the scale up on the couch. Because at this age, they're way too much help. They like to help way too much. So we are at three pounds, seven ounces. Ta -da. All right, so she is three pounds, seven ounces. And I like the frosting. She's got a little bit of frosting on the tips of her coat. Okay, let's do the other one. This is the other light one. This one is kind of a no bite. He says, okay, I'll go away. Um, this one is kind of an apricot, not an apricot, a butterscotch and cream. It's not a white at all. 
You can see the butterscotch on the head probably easier than you can the body, but he's so wiggly. And his microchip number, oh, you didn't get to jump, did you? 8961, it's telling me my battery's low. Hopefully we'll make it clear through this. All right, so, no, don't go help him. <laughs> nope, don't go help him. Nope, all right, we're going up on the tech couch. This is too much trouble. So when we change the altitude of that scale and they have to look down, they hold still. Nope. He's like, oh, where am I? You're not going to hold still, are you? This one is at three pounds. Stop. He's about three pounds, 13 ounces. If he'd let go of me, I don't want him to fall off the couch. Let's call him three pounds, 13, five. You're going to get up and try it again? Yeah, but you're coming off the front. <laughs> <laughs> you're not afraid up there, are you? You're supposed to be. All right, so he's about three pounds, 13, five. I know he's not over 13, but we're close. Okay, now let's do the phantoms. You guys are just too much help. You're just too much help, I know. You know, there's lots of things to do. You don't have to use me as your chew toy. Look at that, yeah, that one makes noise. And there's teddy bears. Yeah, you've got other things to chew on besides me. <laughs> Somebody shut the lights out. All right, this one is a phantom. This is a male. I know, but you're not coming up here to bite him. And he is a uh, yellow collar, 89.63. Hi, buddy. I know they're being mean to you. <laughs> this is the one that has the beige phantom markings. He'll always be this way. He'll always be black with the, all these markings. So let's find, uh, let's find out what you weigh. Oh. Three pounds, 7.5. See, I told you it slows him down and you set him up there. Okay. Well, let me turn around here. We did the yellow. You, I'm going to pin you down in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to pin you down. Let's do this one. It says, oh, I can't get out. Help, I'm stuck. Uh, this is 8971. Are you having fun? See, I'm not letting you out. And this is another <laughs> phantom. He's got silver trim. He's going to always have silver trim, light eyebrows. He's got the silver up the back of his legs. You're a pretty boy, aren't you? And he has a turquoise collar. Ouch, you're getting too close to my skin. 89.71, and he weighs 2 pounds, 13 ounces. This will be the last time I sit on the floor with these guys. All right, now we're going to do the phantoms that don't show it as much yet. So this one is the female. She is sold. Uh, 89.64, and she's got, whoop, she's got a really nice curly coat. She's always going to be black, and I can't tell yet if hers are going to be tan trim. Looks like tan under there, but there's silver in there too. So she may end up with silver along with the tan. What's your back legs look like? Let's take a look at your back legs. Her back legs look more silvery than they do tan. So I'm not sure. Hi, buddy. All right, let's weigh you see what you weigh. All right, she is three pounds even, right on the button. All right, now, hi, Munchkin. Are you going to bite my fingers too? All right, this little guy is the littlest in the litter, and his microchip is 89.65. He's got a neon orange collar. He has lots of little waves and curls in this coat. And he has, ouch, no bite. He has brown in the ears or along the edges. And his eyebrows are already getting little tufts of brown above both eyes, which those eyebrows will turn brown. You are just wound for sound, buddy. You need to go out in the yard and play tomorrow. Okay, little man, let's see what you weigh. Two pounds, five ounces. And he has tan under the tail. Oh, you think? I know, you're a good boy. Pop down. I know, your brothers and sisters are tyrants. Um, they're all doing really good. They're in the house with us, and so we are weaning them this week. Uh, I think we have, everybody is away from mom except the two smallest ones, so we have the little orange collared one and we have the female with the pink collar are still with mom. 
only because we're slowing her milk down. And um, we'll probably take another one away from them, from her in a day or so. How are you coming up my arm? I see ya. So, what else can I throw at you? Um, once mom is completely away from them, we start working on no bark, no bite, and no lick. I think those are the worst habits that any puppy, no bite, any puppy can have. Um, and they play with their mouth at, nope. They learn no, and you can't be like, oh, they're so cute though when they do it right now. It might be cute right now, but believe me, in two more weeks from now, it will not be cute anymore. They'll put holes in you. They'll also tear your skin. They'll tear your clothes as you walk by and they grab your clothes. So you have to set down rules and boundaries and limitations. Um, a puppy is not something you can take home and turn loose or expect your kids to train it and expect to have a good dog. It just doesn't work. Um, a crate can be your best friend. You can't put your kids in a crate, but you can put the dog in a crate. And um, so I would absolutely buy a crate that I know what you want. Are you listening? You better take all this in, okay? Um, so when you're not physically interacting with this dog, it should be locked in its kennel. Uh, a puppy this size, I would not get anything any smaller than a 36 inch, even for the little guy with the orange collar, because he's going to get bigger. He's not going to stay little. And um, the crate can be their good place. No bite. Nope. I'm going to pop you. He says, I know she's going to do that. So you can, if you get them a big enough crate and you work during the day, especially, you want at least a minimum 36 inch, 36 inch crate. And a 42 would be even better. Because what they do in your kennel, um, they actually learn to go to the back of the kennel and go to the potty on a piece of paper. Or a wee wee pad if you like. I'm not a wee wee pad fan, so I don't even talk about wee wee pads. Um, I use white newspaper, and it's very easy to get a hold of. It's way cheaper than wee wee pads. And they're used to that because that's what we train them on here. Are you looking for a place to potty? It says, I bet you I am. I've got, I've got my paper towels and my wet wipes ready. You never know with this group. I knew it. I know it. Yeah, I could tell. It's like what, knowing your kid. Did you potty with me on the carpet or did you miss my carpet? No. No. No bite. Um, I know. I'm, this sounds really fun, doesn't it, guys? But you can't play with my paper towels. No. Okay. I think we've got carpet and non-carpet. No. Okay. Put my... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sitting on one. Come up here. Uh, anyway, 36 inch or a 42. Um, ultimately, if you've got room for a 42 and you can afford it, get a 42. Your dog's going to spend the first year of his life in that kennel. 50% uh, of his day should be in that kennel. So when you're at home reading the newspaper, washing the dishes, that's not interacting with your puppy. That's when they get themselves into trouble. They get a hold of electric cords. They get into things they shouldn't. They poop on the other room on the floor. And then you're mad at them. Then you punish them. Then they learn to hide the potty. So your crate is your best friend. And it's not cruel. Dogs love their crate once they're raised in a crate. Because that's their protection. Uh, a cave is, dog is a cave dwelling animal. So in the wild it will look. Are you going to potty too? Come on people. Uh, for what you're looking for, please go on the concrete. Come on. Not up here. Nope, not up here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking about doing. Um, and they would look for a place to crawl in and hide where they feel secure. Same with the, the crate. They'll actually get to where if the crate door is open as they get older, they'll go in there and take their toys or a bone, and they'll go in there and they will lay down in the crate or they'll go in and, and um, take a bone or something you've given them to chew, and they'll go to the crate with it uh, to play with it or eat it. So please remember that when you're looking for a crate, don't get them. People that have a small puppy buy these little tiny crates, and this puppy has to eat, sleep, potty, play, 
and all of that in one area. So please be diligent of that when you buy your crate. Ow, no bite. Um, lay the crate box on the floor at the store. The box is exactly the size that crate's gonna be. Then you picture your puppy as a um, 13 inch puppy at this age, and they're only gonna get bigger quicker. And if you set, you know, like a stuffed dog from the pet store on that crate, and then look at the space they have left. You are not having my microchipper. Um, then you're going to understand why I say bigger crate. Um, puppies do not like to sleep and eat where they potty. Your dog is going to potty in the crate. Please don't think that when it potties in the crate, it's going to always do that. But as a puppy, no, they can't hold it. If you're not there and you're out shopping, they're going to potty in the crate. So when you go home, don't punish them. Clean it up and go on with it. Um, and if you don't give them a big enough room, don't take that away from him. You're being a booger. Um, they're going to play in it. They're going to run through it. They're gonna, then you're going to be mad. You're going to have to go home and give them a bath. So please think about that when you go to purchase your crates. Um, what else can I throw at you? You guys are mean picking on him. He's the... Playing with the toy, I know he took your toy, didn't it? No, no bite, no. And when you correct him, don't turn around and pet him. Um, if you were ever, no bite. If you were ever here and their mother, no bite. You might be little, but you're not gonna bite me. Um, if their mother, when she got tired of him and we finally decided to take him away and wean him, if they would go to nurse her or they would bite her, she would stop and look at them and they'd freeze because whatever meaning that, no, whatever meaning that means. And then if they go ahead and bite her again, I've seen mothers just nail them and put holes in them. And then the puppy runs and hides from the mother and slowly creeps back over and lays down and scoots across the floor with its head down. And it's kind of like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And she just looks at him and they gently walk over and nurse again. But... Moms don't tolerate anything when they're with these guys in their kennels. Are you wanting to go behind me? This one is like, I'm really trying to get behind you. It's almost made it. Which one is it? It's got to be that red one. Mm -hmm. Are you out yet? There you come. I can feel it squeezing back there. So I will send out the videos um, probably next week for these guys that are going home. You just crawled up here to bite and I'm not going to let you bite me. No, you guys have, we've not really started working on them very much with it yet, but they're going to learn really quick when we say no bite, they stop. No, I'm a good one to flick them on the nose. Um, especially this little, usually a good snap, no. Says, okay, I'll change my mind. I'm going on off your leg. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about these guys or anybody that's still available in this litter, so we have, I think, three or four still left in this litter. And you might be one of them. I can't remember. Um, so please shoot me a text or give me a call if you have questions. And other than that, I uh, will try and get you an outdoor video. The next time, I'm not going to sit on the floor anymore with them. It just antagonizes them to want to be on me. Plus, when they've been in the house, what have you got in your coat? You've got something white, like paper stuck in there. Uh, it antagonizes them to chew on you when they've been in. They just need to get out and run this energy off. So I will um, update this today. I'll get it on the, the website. And I'm not sure. I think we need to shoot new pictures. So I'll probably do those tomorrow, I'm thinking. And we'll get you some new pictures of these guys. And um, I'll get the website updated because the female sold this afternoon. And I have not updated uh, that, the little black phantom female. So have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed their crazy video. And uh, they're really good kids. They're just typical puppies. So have a great day. We'll talk to you later.